a girl. In real life, everybody is not wearing Baccarat. It should be against the law how quickly I have accumulated these perfumes. Why do I keep wanting to say frequencies? Lord help me. Hey girl, what's good? It's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. You guys, I am so excited for this video. If you're new here, my name is Brittany and I make fragrance videos like this as well as fun content about my life here in Dallas. Y'all, I bring the vibes. I try to bring the vibes in my content. And yes, y'all, we are going to just jump right into it. It's It should be against the law how quickly I have accumulated these perfumes. I actually think before 2022, I had zero niche perfumes. And the fact that my collection has, the fact that I even have a collection of niche perfumes is a little bit <laughs> ridiculous. I might be addictive. So some of these fragrances are very popular. They're like cult classics, if you would. Some of these fragrances I'd never heard of until I went to go smell them. So I'm obsessed with all of these fragrances. I rock with these. So these all have my stamp of approval. Any of these, you are going to smell good okay and for the most part probably a lot different than everyone else around you so if you want to see which fragrances are in my niche fragrance collection then keep watching all right so part of me feels like i should just start in chronological order with like how the madness started and i'm not ashamed that it started with miss delina so this is probably the most probably the second most recognizable fragrance in this collection this is delina exclusive to be exact which is a flanker of the original delina i'm not going to go too in depth on delina because i know like I've, I've already talked about her on this channel but she is like still hands down my favorite fragrance she definitely has a stronger projection in my opinion than the original delina she just smells beautiful like this is like a wedding day fragrance you're out on vacation and you have like that special dinner like that super sophisticated dinner like this is a fragrance that you wear because you just feel like such a princess like you just feel so special it's feminine it's soft but it's strong but it's powdery but it's got like just a little bit a little bit of like fruitiness to it it's from like the pear and the lychee just like that keeps it wet and not too dry and powdery the scent trail is amazing again i will put the notes on the screen i'm very proud to say that this is a girl that started it all and it's Delina Exclusive. I think I'm just gonna go in order of like when I got my fragrances. Um, so next is probably my second best favorite of all these fragrances and it is By Rado's Le Fleur. Hopefully I'm saying that right. So when it comes to By Rado, everyone loves Mojave Gold, it's Gypsy Water and honestly those are just not my style of fragrance. When I spray those on me, I just can't smell them. So when I went to the Byredo counter, I knew that I wanted something much stronger. So I actually thought I was gonna go in and get Blanche because I have a sample of it and I'm just obsessed with it. Um, but you guys, I smelled Le Fleur and I was like, this is my fragrance. Like this fragrance has Britney all over it. So when I smell this, it just smells like a lot of emotions. Like it smells youthful, but it smells sophisticated. It's warm, but it's like crisp and clean. It's fruity, but it's powdery. Um, I don't know. It just, it's one of those fragrances where it is so hard to describe. You kind of just have to smell it. I will have the notes on the screen, but some of the notes in here are uh, Cassis, 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 it's gotta be Cassis, right? Um, tangerine, white saffron, um, amber, uh, woodiness, a vanilla -iness too. I think that's what I really like is that it's got these woody and vanilla tones that ground everything else and that give it that sophistication. I love it, I'm obsessed. If you have a similar taste as me fragrance wise, I really, really think you will love my next fragrance is probably my new everyday fragrance and it is Musk Therapy by Initio. I first was introduced to it at Neiman Marcus. I feel like I need to smell all of these to like really talk about it. While I do this, another tip ladies, whenever you are going to go test out perfumes, do not spray it right up on your skin. If you spray it too close and you smell it, you're gonna for the most part smell alcohol. So you wanna, you know, have it a, a bit away, at least a foot away, and then kind of mist and spray it so that you can really, it can dry down really quickly and you can really get a better sense of how it actually smells. And then of course, 
as the fragrance dries down, you're going to smell the top notes all the way down to the base notes. So if you're really testing a perfume out, I would say to get a sample. See how it smells on your clothes versus just on your body. Me personally, I like to smell fragrances that just make me feel good. That are either reminds me of something or makes me just feel like that bitch. Or just, just give me some type of emotion that I want. It could be comforting. It could be exciting. It could be adventurous. But take a note of how fragrances make you feel and what kind of memories fragrances trigger. That's one of the reasons why I like this because must therapy, it triggers this like comfort to me. Like the woman young Britney aspires to be smells like this. I guess that's why it's called musk therapy um, because it just kind of puts you at like this sense of peace when I'm wearing this. It's like a optimistic, peaceful, just like everything's going to be all right. Everything is beautiful. Mm. You can really smell the bergamot in here. It's also got this like slight sweetness it's very unassuming it's very very pleasant and then of course lots of musk whites and pink musk it's just an extremely pleasant fragrance like whenever i wore this i literally turned heads this is the type of fragrance that's good for literally any occasion like you can wear this to work you can wear this to bed you can wear this to the gym like you can wear this wherever however you can overspray this like it's just one of those fragrances that i feel like will forever be in my collection all right so next is the infamous the infamous mfk baccarat rouge 540 so i do have the dossier version of this which is a dupe um and it smells really really similar like i didn't need to get this to be honest all socks was having their sale and who doesn't want to get this on sale so i just i just i just got it i don't know i don't have a really good reason for getting it but yes as we all know this is a very unisex fragrance this is probably the most popular niche fragrance maison francis kirkshawn um i haven't really dove a lot into some of their other fragrances i am curious to smell their a la rose i think they have pluriel that i hear good things about and i think there's another one called amorous or something like that um but yes yeah, very ambery very unisex this just smells like money um i said it in before in my summer perfume video which if you haven't seen it i will go ahead and link up here um but but this just reminds me of like brunch, bottomless mimosas, we're going shopping, we're going to brunch, we're just spending. Okay, we're spending today. This is that fragrance for me. Um, or if I just want to feel like a rich, I will reach for this. Yes, it seems like everybody has it, but trust and believe, like at least here in Dallas, when I go out, I just, I don't smell this a ton. In our heads, we think, oh, everybody has this fragrance or everybody because of social media. But girl, in real life, everybody is not wearing a Baccarat. So if you still want to smell unique and you still want to get a fragrance, I would say to still get it if you like it because it's going to smell different on you. And then this is one of those fragrances where I actually like to layer it. I do like to layer it with my the Label Since Hall 33 dupe. And I might even explore kind of layering it with some of my more floral perfumes. <laughs> Okay, we're back. Sorry guys, my camera is killing me. I need to, I'm probably gonna have to start filming with a different camera. Next on my list is one of my favorite perfumes. And this is by the House of Amouage and it is Amouage Dia's Woman. It's my first Arabian fragrance, which Arabian fragrances are known to be very strong. They usually have like amber, musk, um, fragrance, fragrances, fragrances. Um, or even like myrrh. It's just, it's very traditional. It's almost like biblical to me, like just the, the different like oils and spices that are in Arabian perfumes. Um, they are typically oil-based and they do have a much stronger projection than a more Western style perfume. So this fragrance, you guys, is very unique to me because while it's a very clean fragrance, it's also very grounded in like the frequent, frequent, why do I keep wanting to say frequent scents? Lord help me. Um, it's It's got a lot of fresh notes in this. It's got fresh sage. It's even got a floralness to it with peonies. But then it also has this like aldehyde. -y. The way I like to describe aldehydes is almost like a metallic-y kind of a smell. Um, it reminds me of like detergent. So it's a very clean fragrance. But you also have this like smoky, 
warmth to it because of the frankincense, because of the sandalwood, and it's even got some vanilla in it. Um, so yes, very unique. This is why you choose a niche fragrance. You want something different. You want something unique. You want an interesting pair of scents that would just kind of like take your nose on a journey. And that is Dia. All right, so last but absolutely not least, this is just the latest fragrance I got. And the fact that I got this last, there's something to be said about that because I actually told myself I was done for the year. I was like, okay, Brittany, you have one, two, three, four, five niche fragrances, like one a month, basically. You're done. Like, girl, put the debit card away. But y'all, I jumped on this fragrance and I'm so happy I did when I did because it sold out. And it is Miss Funami Monet's Exalté. So this is, again, one of those fragrances that is just right up my fragrance alley. It was created and curated by none other than Miss Funmi Monet. She is an influencer. Um, I was first exposed to her on TikTok. Like, I was just watching her videos. And then I found out that she had her own perfume. And I, like, ran. When I tell you, I ran to get it. It's a very sophisticated type of fragrance. I have not really worn this a lot. I haven't actually even worn it outside the house. But just from first impressions, this is what I feel like YSL Libre should have been. If you're not new here, you know that I just, I just couldn't get with YSL Libre. I just couldn't do it. It's just was something about it that I couldn't, I, I, your girl couldn't do it. I could not do it. I, I, I still to this day don't get the hype. After smelling this, I, I feel like I now know what I missed from that perfume that I really, really like in this perfume. It's a drier rose in my opinion, not like a super wet rose, it's a dry rose. It has like a creamy dry down. It's got this citrusiness to it, like a, a lemoniness that kind of at first smell for me kind of competes a little bit with the rose and with the vanilla. But then as it dries down, it just smells so like musky and smooth and creamy and it really does smell um it's it's still got this like pepperiness to it like this spiciness so i think if you like libre you would love this um i also think if you like chloe nomad you would like this too it's a beautifully crafted fragrance i am excited to actually wear this out and kind of take her for a spin um but yes you guys that is everything for my niche perfume collection y'all i think i've done a, a pretty good job a pretty good job if I do say so myself. I really love all these fragrances, zero regrets, and I will have everything linked in the description box. And if you're intrigued and you wanna add any of these to your collection, the only thing that I think you can't add at this very moment is Miss Exalté because she is sold out, okay, baby. She is booked and busy. I want to see Jackie Ina mentioned her on one of her reels or her TikToks, and baby girl sold out, okay? So yes, I will try to get her linked down below if I can. Everything else, of course, will be linked. Let me know in the comments below if you're more of a designer fragrance. And when I say designer, I mean more like YSL, Valentino, um, things like that. Um, or if you're more of a niche girl like me I'm I've dipped my toe into niche and I feel like y'all there is no going back like there is no going back now of course I will still wear the other girls and I will have them in rotation but when it comes to me grabbing a favorite scent it is absolutely one of these um but yes thanks so much y'all for hanging out with me as always remember to be good to yourself and I will see y'all in the next video Mwah. bye guys